All right, Shadow Play. Y'all gonna have to ignore the background. I'm gonna try to remove as much of the background as I can. But hi, Shadow Play, and welcome back to my channel. So I have been having issues with my scalp for the past year and a half or so. Um, all of the issues that I'm having, my friend who also had a miscarriage is having the same exact issues. So I'm just trying to, I don't know, we just trying to figure out what's the correlation. Like, why is this happening to us? But anyway, so I stopped eating wheat and eggs, which I'm both, I'm allergic to both of those things. I stopped eating them. And my allergy was just like itching throat and sometimes my throat closed a little bit, but I would still eat it because I still wanted to eat it. You guys have no idea how many things have wheat in it. Like everything I love has wheat, okay? Pasta, cookies. Cakes, pies, regular, just like, it's just so random how many things have wheat in it. And people don't think of wheat in the same way that, I don't know, enriched flour is wheat. So all of these things I'm allergic to, which is so hard to avoid all of these things. Um, I've limited the amount of products that I put on my skin. So as of now, I'm only using... Carol's Daughter, the, it's like a water shampoo, a water wash. I don't know how to describe it. Um, with the conditioner to go with it. And I'm also only using shea butter on my scalp. So no oils, no grease, just straight shea butter. Shea butter has helped me so much since I started using it. At first I was just using oil and water, but I noticed that my hair was, my scalp was so dry and my hair was so brittle. So I started using just raw shea butter such a relief okay i still have the itching and the flaking but it's not as much and i don't have the scabs anymore so if you look you can see right here was inflamed when i tell you it was so swollen and i had such a huge scab right here i got it all so the hair has to grow back um you'll still see flakes throughout my scalp like all of this right here is flakes that's about to come off flakes 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 all over Let me show you out back so I still have the flakes but they're going away um I also recently used a goat milk soap. I don't know why I used it. I just felt like it, it would have been nice. And it actually was. It was pretty nice. I used it on my scalp as a shampoo. Um, so right now, all I'm doing is trying to get rid of those flakes, which is happening. They're coming up. I don't have any new sores, which is amazing because the sore means that it's about to flake up and it's going to be a thick scab. Still don't know what's going on with my scalp, so I have to call around to different dermatologists to see if I can get an appointment. But it's so hard. I live in New York City, and it's so hard to get an appointment with a dermatologist right now. I don't know why. It's just super hard. So I'm still trying. I think it's either dermatitis or psoriasis. Which one? I don't know. But I feel like it's heavily related to what I eat. Anytime I eat wheat, my scalp just be gone. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, this, this is, this is what's under my head wrap. This is what I look like. This is day 150 something. I don't know what day it is, but since I cut my hair. And then I have my little lock. There, there's a significance between the lock placement and the tattoo. But anyway. Yeah, so that's just a real quick update. Uh... If you guys have any suggestions, I'm taking all suggestions, okay? Because I'm taking all suggestions. I just wanted to add that I am not locking my hair. I'm putting, I put these braids in my hair because I literally can't do anything to my hair. I'm allergic to synthetic hair. I'm allergic to yarn. So I don't really have any protective styles I can do. So I just put these little box braids in my hair because my hair was long enough to braid. And what else could I do? Um, I am not ready to lock my hair just yet. So right now I'm living my lock journey through this one little lock 
and the rest of my hair will be loose so i'll be able to do both be a loose natural and have a lock you know just to fulfill both wants but no i have not started a lock journey follow me on instagram i post there way more often i'll see you guys in my next video please like comment and subscribe